Radio Network, 88.5, 103.9, 102.5, Edge FM. 15 degrees in Melbourne, cloudy tomorrow, a top of 16. It's 5 o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Tardio. More than 600 people have gathered to say goodbye to Hannah Maguire in Ballarat today. The 23-year-old was allegedly murdered by her ex-boyfriend, 21-year-old Lachlan Young, earlier this month, with her body found in a burnt-out car. Her mother, Debbie, was one of the speakers at the service paying tribute to her beloved daughter. Hannah touched our lives in profound ways, and her memory will forever remain etched in our souls. Hannah... We miss the way your presence made everything feel right. Senior Minister Steve Demopoulos says Parliament is a safe place to work, despite Labor MP Darren Cheeseman being allowed to remain in the Parliamentary Party following allegations of inappropriate behaviour. Premier Jacinta Allen asked the member for South Barwon to stand down as the Parliamentary Secretary for Education, but he will remain on Labor's backbench. Mr Demopoulos has backed the Premier's decision, says a new integrity commission to investigate MPs for inappropriate workplace behaviour will begin work in coming months. There'll be legislation produced in the next few months. The presiding officers, the Speaker and the President have both been working on a framework. And I think what we all sign up to and what we all believe is that every workplace in Australia, every workplace in Victoria, should be safe for everybody. Parliament's no different. An asylum seeker is among three people charged over a violent home invasion in Perth. It's alleged a group of men posed as police officers to get into the property before bashing an elderly couple inside. 43 year old man released from immigration detention is accused of being involved in the incident. One other offender is on the run. Two men involved in a fight in the MCC members could face disciplinary action. Dennis O'Kane reports. The fight sparked by a teenager remaining seated for the national anthem before yesterday's Hawthorne Sydney match at the MCG. According to the 3RW Breakfast rumour file, a patron at a nearby table in the members' dining room asked the teen to show some respect before the boy's father told the person to pipe down. The heated exchange triggered a fight on the second floor members' balcony with children reportedly watching on. No one has been arrested, but the police are investigating. And although the MCC says it's a police matter, previous experience shows the two men could face disciplinary action. In Melbourne, Dennis O'Kane, Nine News. A mother of two and her mother have been assaulted at Melbourne Zoo. Last Saturday, 44-year-old Shin and her elderly mother were punched repeatedly in the face by a 42-year-old man after an argument over a car spot. She says it was horrific. Two Asian women by ourselves, no husband with us, no man with us, with two little ones, and he's thinking he can do this to me. Her 72-year-old mother is in hospital with bleeding on the brain and a broken shoulder. The man was arrested at the scene. He was interviewed and released pending further inquiries. In finance news, the share market up 69 points. The dollar buying 65.57 US cents. to award a contentious 50-metre penalty against Carlton during the final term of Saturday's loss to Geelong. The Blues were penalised for Patrick Cripp standing on a mark instead of Harry Mackay. Executive General Manager of Football, Laura Kane, has explained who determines who stands on the mark. A little bit of common sense that gets applied. If two players both go to the spot, the umpire may select one of the players and instruct them to stay and then, in fact, instruct the other player to get out of the way. In the case on the weekend, the umpire has instructed Harry to stay on the mark, but the opposites occurred. Hawthorne forward Mabior Chol has been suspended for one game for an off-the-ball strike. Sydney midfielder Chad Warner can accept a fine for rough conduct 
on Hawk Will Day. Collingwood star Jordan Degoe faces a test to be fit to play Carlton on Friday night after pulling up with a groin issue from Anzac Day. It's five past five. That's the latest in news and sport. with the latest in sport thanks to PowerCore. PowerCore supplying power to homes across Western Victoria. Western Bulldogs' Cody Waitman will miss the next six weeks after dislocating his elbow in the loss to the Dockers on Saturday night. It's the second time this season he's suffered the injury after hurting against the Eagles in round three. Meantime, the Dogs are expected to regain Tom Liberatore from concussion for this week's match against the Hawks. Former Crow skipper Roy Sloan has called time on his career effective immediately. The midfielder hasn't played this season after undergoing surgery for the second time to fix a detached retina. He says no form of protection could help him from the injury occurring again, and it's too big a risk to play on. They actually felt quite good. He lost a bit of peripheral vision, which I think I would have needed around the ball and around stoppages, around contests. But unfortunately for me, the goggles weren't going to protect me from detached retinas. Detached retinas don't form from a poke in the eye. It's normally when you cop blacks to the heads. That's sport thanks to PowerCore. PowerCore's year-round vegetation inspection and cutting program is keeping communities safe. It's your choice. Will you take the instant $1,000 or hold out for more? The 40K Countdown. Coming soon to Edge FM. Promote the shop local message in your town for less than $6 a week. Have your business advertised on radio all year long. Plus, you get a cool shop local sticker to display. At Chuka Better Home Living are throwing Aunt Nolan's Easter Extravaganza Sale. Hop in for some excellent savings. The Extravaganza Sale on now at Chuka Better Home Living in the Homemaker Centre, Ogilvy Avenue, Chuka. Sale ends April 30. 102.5 Edge FM, your official emergency broadcaster. Edge FM weather. Moama Anglican Grammar. Take the leap and enrol your child today. Imagine the possibilities. Your four-day forecast across northern Victoria and southern Riverina. We're in for a partly cloudy afternoon. Light winds becoming south-southwesterly, 15 to 20 k's. Tomorrow, a sunny day expected, heading for a top of 21. To Wednesday, the 1st of May, mostly sunny at 22. And looking ahead to Thursday, mostly sunny and an expected top of 22 degrees. The Big Mac is the original mouthful, a one-of-a-kind flavour that now comes in three sizes. Currently, it's 20.